In fact, uh, the success of any team, uh, it uh, depends on the credibility and trust, right? And this becomes the leader's a very, very important uh, responsibility that uh, how he builds the credibility and the trust is there. And once the leader proves his credibility, then, then definitely the team members, they, they start uh, trusting their particular leader. I would like to give the example of uh, like uh, uh, Shri Idharan. And therefore, in that case, we have seen that is uh, how he has uh, you know, successfully completed the projects, uh, different projects and uh, Konkan railway projects, the Alimeter railway projects. Uh, uh, so, therefore, in that case, um, it is very necessary to understand that is the, uh, the uh, I, I think this is one of the highly essential uh, part of this uh, success of a leader. And that is the building the credibility is there, right? And therefore, uh, um, bec uh, we, we can understand that if once the credibility is created, it is for ever. So, here we will talk about the trust uh, and then the uh, defining this uh, trust triangle uh, for research based practices to earn and keep the trust of others, trust uh, diversity and the uh, team performance, uh, the trust uh, equation credibility and the three components of credibility which is required to develop the and as usual uh, the case study research papers and the book recommend, uh, recommendations with the references. So, uh, the, the process of building the trust is an interesting one, but it is begins with yourself right. So, therefore, in that case uh, with what I call self trust and with your own credibility, your own trustworthiness, if you think about it, it is a hard to establish trust with other if you cannot trust yourself is there. So, in, in both the dimensions as per the Stephen Covey is concerned that is the credibility. So, uh, I would like to connect here the credibility with the ownership. If I, I am taking my own ownership, then definitely in that case, I will be able to take the ownership for the others and responsibilities for the others because I have taken the ownership for that. So, leader is having his own credibility and similarly that is the is whether you have the confidence or not. If you have the confidence, you will be able to develop the trust because trust is between the two people and therefore, in that case uh, when the one, one uh, the positional power that is a leader, if he himself is having the trust, uh, he will be able to develop the trust uh, among his the, uh, the team members. If he is not able to develop the trust uh, uh, within himself, then definitely in that case, uh, uh, it will be very difficult uh, as it has been mentioned, you cannot trust, uh, if you cannot trust yourself, then forget about that is establishing the trust within the others is concerned. Uh, first, we will like to see the academic uh, the input uh, because we have to understand that is the the people keep on talking about that is the uh, trust uh, and the, the uh, patience that that is the uh, um, major pillars for the success is concerned. So, exactly what is the trust means? So, here the trust is defined as a willingness to rely on an exchange partner in whom one has confidence, right? And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, it is ju just like a glass, right? So, once the trust, uh, trust is there and then it is a responsibility of the another person to keep that intact, uh, that particular trust. So, trust is defined in terms of the confident positive expectations. So, therefore, yes, it will be done. So, whenever you are assigning a particular task to your team member, you know that is it will be done and that is your trust is there. So, there is a positive expectations are there regarding the another's conduct and therefore, uh, many times we see that is the leaders uh, they are having the fixed team and they are not going for the team leader member exchange rather than they have the fixed team. The reason is that is about the um, uh, on the on the root of uh, this understanding and that is the leader, uh, leader has a very high trust uh, on that particular team member. So, trust is a particular level of the subjective probability, it is a cognitive matter, right. So, therefore, with which an agent assesses that another agent, a group of agent will perform a particular action is there or not. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it, it is the uh, cognitive ability of the individual is there and that is why the one person uh, is uh, having the trust uh, with, with the another person because of he has developed that affect cognitive affection and whenever there is a cognitive affection is there, then definitely there will be the 
trust is there and uh, the, as a result of which uh, uh, the person makes sure that is uh, he will be able to go for this particular uh, understanding. Now, we will talk about that is the how the trust uh, triangle works. So, therefore, in the trust uh, that is the uh, first and foremost uh, and which uh, that is uh, I experience the real you. So, therefore, the authenticity is the first and foremost part. So, therefore, in, in that case that is why it is always told that is a test and trust. So, because it, it, it is the authenticity which is developed uh, with the experiences. So, therefore, in that case uh, if you develop that particular trust uh, that, that, that is the authenticity is developed. Now, in the context of the uh, team we will find that is the uh, you give authorize uh, you have a delegation. So, to whom you have a delegation? Because you had a experience of authenticity and the as a result of which you are giving this particular uh, uh, the task uh, or that uh, particular job to that particular person. Mm, uh, so, it, uh, it, it can almost always be uh, traced back to the breakdown in some of them. To build a trust as a leader and we need to figure out which uh, driver we verbal on. So, therefore, another uh, that uh, the, uh, the factor which is creating the trust is that is the empathy. That is I believe you care about me and my success and therefore, the, 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 as a result of this empathy the trust has been developed between the leader and the team members is there. And the third one is the there is a logic. So, I know you can do it, your reasoning and the judgment are sound and therefore, that trust is there. Now, here you see that is whenever we are talking about the logic, authenticity and empathy, uh, then uh, a question will be arise that is the exactly which dimension that will be having uh, uh, the more uh, uh, upper hand over the other is concerned. And therefore, we have to talk about the four research based practices for leaders to master to earn and keep the trust of others. So, this particular research practice of the HBR study that will help us uh, uh, that is the how we can earn and keep the trust. So, be who you say you are and therefore, in that case that transparency that honesty is required. So, that is the embody your stated values. So, whatever you say and so there should not be a difference between your deed and what you preach. So, therefore, in that case it, it is becoming a very important that is the uh, you are the embody your whatever the values are there and acknowledge any say do gaps. So, therefore, in that case uh, whatever the you acknowledge uh, then the, uh, that is uh, yes there are. So, there is no need uh, uh, that is the to, to give a wrong image a wrong impression. So, therefore, if any gap is there uh, then acknowledge that yes that is a gap is there and that is the uh, uh, because uh, uh, this is a continuous process. So, today is the gap the gap will be bridged tomorrow right. So, so there is nothing like to say that is no there is no gap right that will be wrong. So, treat others and their work with dignity and that is a create opportunities for others to shine be a safe place to fail. Balance transparency with the discussions and the build the bridges that unify. It is always important right that is whenever you are interacting with others how do you address them right and therefore, giving the opportunity to them never never claim uh, uh, these opportunities uh, for yourself only. So, the, uh, everybody wants to uh, get the opportunity. So, give them opportunity and let them learn and do and therefore, they, they, uh, and uh, naturally in doing so because of their inexperience they will fail and whenever they will fail then you have to bridge that, part, uh, bridge that particular gap and uh, then develop that particular team member and as a result of which you will find that is uh, your team is able to perform. So, diversity does not uh, the trust diversity in team performance when we talk about that it does not automatically confer advantages in decision making. In fact, if diverse team are not managed actively for inclusion they can underperform homogeneous ones. Uh, we have discussed in the previous session these things that is the group should have the diversity and uh, nowadays it is a compulsion to have a diversity because your main power is coming from the different uh, culture, different part of the globe and therefore, in that case the leader should be able to manage actually uh, for the inclusion is concerned. If he will not have the inclusion dear friends he will not be a successful leader. So, therefore, that orientation of inclusion will require the acceptance to that diversity is there and as a result of which those who are having the underperformance uh, they will come out at the particular level and that will become the homogeneous one. So, the shared knowledge is key in decision making. So, uh, the leader 
right he has to be a good knowledge worker and he should be able to share and diverse the teams by definition start out with the less of it and therefore different teams are there then giving them the right uh, uh, direction for the performance but if you create conditions of trust that allow diverse team members to bring their unique perspectives and experiences to the table uh, you can expand the amount of knowledge your team can access it's a wonderful point and because in that case you will find that is a competency of the leader so you bring that a unique uh, perspective to on the uh, knowledge table uh, so every member uh, those uh, who are working uh, as a team uh, naturally uh, they they are looking forward from the leader so that particular knowledge and therefore that uh, when the leader brings that particular knowledge then definitely in that case uh, uh, your team can access and create an unbeatable uh, uh, the uh, situations and then therefore the goals will be achieved so the uh, in the diverse teams a diverse store of knowledge is partly shared right in a homogeneous team a common store of knowledge is fully shared and in inclusive teams a diverse store of knowledge is fully shared is there so here you see that is in the organizations many times the leaders they have the false notion that is the if they will uh, having these inclusive teams then in that case whatever the homogeneous teams they are having uh, then uh, that, that will be more successful as compared to the inclusive team so they do not go for the inclusive team but that is wrong and therefore in that case uh, we have to convert uh, that, uh, that uh, diverse uh, teams with the homogeneous teams and as a result of which uh, we will be able to create uh, that uh, trust uh, because now we, we are having the uh, all the colors all the colors of uh, the performance so therefore in that case uh, whenever we are having this uh, the team members coming from the different background different culture different ability and skills and uh, uh, maybe the managerial uh, uh, attitude then definitely in that case uh, uh, the whatever the uh, only single team is having the one knowledge one skills and then therefore it is always asked this question there is what type of the team would you like to select so that that has to be the cross functional team is to be there when you have the diverse cross functional team full of knowledge then definitely you will be able to co cover the inclusive team is there so uh, ultimately then we create the trust uh, equation what is a trust equation is there so that is a credibility reliability and intimacy is there right and when the credibility uh, the sum of the credibility reliability and intimacy is divided by the self orientation then we are able to develop that particular trust is there so uh, that is the whenever we are talking about the tq stands for the trust quotient so we we have already talked about the iq eq sq and now we will talk about the uh, TQ in this particular session and that is about the trust quotient and it is, a num it is just like a number of the IQ or EQ that benchmarks your trustworthiness against the four variables and the trust equation uses four objective variables to measure the trustworthiness. So, the, the, uh, the credibility, reliability and intimacy is there and but we should not forget that is the sum of the credibility, reliability and intimacy is divided by the self orientation is there right so therefore in that case uh, whenever we are measuring measuring this uh, uh, the trust quotient then definitely in that case uh, uh, that is a trustworthiness uh, uh, that that, that uh, uh, minimizes uh, minimizes the self orientation and mag mag maximizes uh, the cry that is a credibility reliability and the intimacy is there so uh, then how to make this uh, higher sum to make the higher sum first we, i would like to take the credibility has to do with the words we speak in a sentence we might say i can trust what she says about intellectual property she is very credible on the subject is there and therefore in that case uh, uh, whenever the leader shares this type of the sentences the credibility of the person increases reliability is there with the actions uh, that if he say if he says he will deliver the product tomorrow i trust him because he is dependable is there and uh, therefore in that case uh, uh, that uh, reliability is uh, developed uh, by these uh, uh, the team members uh, 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 with the leader um, because of uh, their time timely uh, action and the performance of the uh, task which has been given to them third one is the intimacy that is the uh, now you see uh, any task is incomplete unless and until it is not having that particular emotional input and therefore i can trust her with that information she is never violated my confidentiality before and she would never embarrass me and that is about uh, uh, that intimacy and when there is a bondage 
bondage of intimacy between the leader and the team member is there, then how and when, when can uh, uh, stop a person for by giving the best results is there. So therefore, in that case, uh, um, even we, we are having this credibility, reliability, but it will be incomplete and unless and until there is not the intimacy is there. So that total score that is the credibility, reliability and intimacy is there and then uh, that is that is uh, divided, divide, division is there by the self orientation. So, it refers to the person's focus in particular whether the person's focus is primarily on him or herself uh, or on the other person. Now, now you see many people, many leaders unfortunately feel that they are successful because of their own, but that is not true. They are, they are successful because of their teams and uh, because uh, any, any person alone cannot uh, give the results. So, therefore, in that case uh, we, uh, the, we, uh, here the self orientation right that, that has to be tested. So, we might say I cannot trust him on his deal, I do not think he cares enough about me, he is focused on what he gets out of it. So, therefore, in that case uh, definitely uh, that, uh, that is a more self orientation as compared to the team building is there. I do not trust him, I think he is too concerned about how he is appearing or he is not really paying the attention is there and therefore, the, the leader gives his message that he is not concerned. If he is not concerned about a sensitive I would like to say rather than concern that is if leader is not sensitive then definitely in that case or the member is not sensitive it is you see that is the trustworthiness is required from both the sides. So, therefore, whether the leader or team member is there and then in that case if they are not having the trust for the other person then definitely that cannot be given the delivery um, by this particular team. So, Stephen P. Covey has given this, uh, Emma Stephen Covey has given this, uh, uh, these uh, 13 B speed of the trust 13 behaviors uh, and therefore, in that case uh, it is like you can see right it is just like a tree is there and in the roots you will find that is the how this uh, integrity is uh, uh, developing uh, this particular uh, intent capabilities and the results uh, is coming out. So, is the essential component that changes the dynamics of a relationship and he outlines 13 specific elements right. Uh, these are the talk state, demonstrate respect, create transparency, right wrong, show loyalty. So, that in, that is about the character based is there, then there is a competency based is there. So, no, those who are giving the delivery the uh, results um, get best, confront reality, clarify expectations and the practicing accountability is there. And then it is based on the character plus competency based both. So, it, it is about the listen the first, keep commitment and the extended trust is there. Now, we will take the credibility. So, um, your reputation for being trustworthy is the, the that is the people uh, you see that is the uh, the people are knowing about it is the how, how credible you are. So, degree to which the others believe or trust in you. So, credibility is your reputation for being trustworthy. So, therefore, in that case uh, you work with and for to live by the high ethical corporate and personal values. This is a very, very uh, important point. So, here we are talking about the high ethical and the corporate and personal values are very, very important dear friends. We have talked about uh, the values, values uh, and the leadership uh, and values and the team building in our earlier sessions. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it is important uh, that is the we, we have to understand that is the creating the personal values. Now, this is the uh, another question arises here how to develop the, uh, the values into a person uh, because if his personal values are not that strong. So, that we have talked about the uh, developing the team and the team effectiveness where you are finding that uh, team members those uh, 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 personal values are conflicting with the personal values of the leaders. So, uh, here uh, it, it is becoming uh, this uh, important in uh, short uh, that is a uh, credibility is a degree to which others believe or trust in you uh, that is to be developed is there. Now, the first and foremost is I always uh, uh, keep on saying and interacting with the uh, others uh, that is the nothing can be compensated with the competency is concerned and how we define the competencies. Right. So, therefore, the first and foremost in the, that is a knowledge and skills uh, uh, for that particular uh, job. If uh, the person is not having that knowledge 
if he is not having that skill, then there will be the no competency will be there. So, therefore, this competency is to be focused first. Second is the caring is there, right. So, uh, that uh, this uh, uh, caring attitude that, that that will be giving the you, you the personal concern with the uh, among the team members uh, and the leaders is concerned. And third one is that is the character is there. So, the, and that is the what is the character you are caring. So, therefore, these uh, three it is just like a very nice analogy has been given here that, he, that is about the, the three legged stool without any one element it is uh, compromised. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, we will see what is about the competency is there. Now, that knowledge and skills needed to accomplish this business task uh, that get a job done. So, most people will judge your competence based on your track record of success and achievement, right. So, therefore, delivery, delivery of the task is very, very important. If you have delivered and your track record says that is you, you do your task on time, then definitely in that case you develop that credibility is there. People develop competence through the study observation and practice and real world business experiences are there and therefore, that, that is making the person competent is there. The how you communicate directly affects the perceptions others have of your competence is there. Now, you see that we have talked about the communication and leadership. So, your selection of words and that will decide about that is how much uh, the leader is concerned with the team members is there. Now, therefore, in con competence uh, in uh, through study, observation and practices, real world business experiences and the entire business program, they are developing competence in a certain business discipline and therefore, in that case one can be specialized or competent in the one area. So, therefore, it may significant business experience will tell us that is the way the one person is if you are a novice seeking internship and job related to your discipline will help you develop competence. Uh, how you communicate directly affects the perception others have of your competence is there. So, first one is the that is a focus on action and another one is an emphasis on the results is there. Second one is about the caring is there. So, implies the understanding the interest of the others, cultivating a sense of community and demonstrating accountability. So, people distrust individuals who are perceived as unconcerned about the interest of others or disinterested in causes above and beyond themselves are there. So, therefore, in, in the, this is to be taken care of. You cannot be the disinterested with your team member, right. And therefore, in that case, uh, our uh, team member cannot be disinterested with the leader is concerned. So, therefore, uh, but why it is unconscious? Because it is of the distrust is there. So, once we it is having the distrust, then automatically uh, it will come the caring, caring will be there. And therefore, uh, here we will find the moment there is suspicion, uh, like Mahatma Gandhi has once stated, there is suspicion about a person's motives, everything he does becomes tainted. So, therefore, be, be very careful about this and is, uh, all uh, people distrust individuals who are perceived as uh, unconcerned about the interest of the others is there. So, unless and until you are not having the uh, concern for the others interest, you will not be uh, having the any caring attitude uh, towards uh, your team members. So, uh, so here it is the uh, it become very, very important uh, and, and interest of the others a sense of community and demonstrating the accountability is there. So, whenever we are having this type of this uh, sense of community and demonstrating the accountability, then definitely the people will be having the trust uh, amongst uh, the uh, leader. So, what we learn? So, we, uh, uh, we under, uh, so we have to understand the interest of others is very, very uh, necessary if you want to have an effective team. So, therefore, uh, in that case uh, uh, to gain credibility strongly depends on your ability to show that you care for the needs of others is there. Uh, and uh, uh, understanding the others needs, wants, opinion, feelings and uh, aspirations is there. So, uh, as a result of which what is that? It, it is not an only professional team rather than it is becoming the community because you have given a sense of community to the your team. So, our needs are your needs and that is why the communication. So, it is not me, it is we. So, therefore, your needs are the my needs and so engenders trust and helps you come up with solutions that achieve the mutual benefits are there. 
Now the third one is that is about the culture of accountability. Five has to foster the culture of accountability. Is there to give, provide, share, pro and uh, and and the uh, pro, pro, provide freedom and provide resources and the be clear is there. So it is a uh, feeling of the responsibility to stakeholders and duty to other employees and customers are there. So by placing a rationale for accountability in your communication, you will generate substantial trust and goodwill from the others is concerned. So, how the accountable cultures, uh, what are the characteristics are there, they, um, that it improves the performance, greater employee participants and involvement, increased feeling of the job proficiency, a heightened commitment to the work at hand, added creativity and innovation leading to higher employee moral and job satisfaction and uh, deeper employee engagement is there. Uh, the role of characters uh, in uh, now the last part is that is about the credibility is there. So, that these are the six pillars of these uh, characters uh, uh, that uh, we are talking about uh, uh, which has been mentioned earlier we will take one by one. So, therefore, it is reputation for staying true, uh, true to commitment made to the stakeholders and adhering to the high moral and ethical values. So, character is actually it is the basically that is having the collaborative relationship and when it becomes more important for leaders increasingly open, transparency, well connected with each other and therefore, it is uh, here you will find the inter interdependent workplace is created. Uh, here one uh, more is uh, in creating the trust, uh, the recent research uh, depicted the business executives were asked what the most important determinants of trust uh, and therefore, you find it is the uh, uh, honesty and we have talked about this right from the honesty to the works for a reputed, uh, reputable company and we have discussed these all dimensions uh, uh, in time to time which is talking about that is the uh, how this leadership with the shared objective, shared values also. We will like to, we already discussed with the objectives and the values, uh, shared values also, right. And therefore, in that case, developing this competency is there. So, this character based traits, which is honesty, ethical behavior, willingness to exchange information, and these are the becoming the, the top. Uh, but we should not forget that is uh, works for a reputable company and uh, connectedness and experience and intelligence also, uh, it is playing an important uh, role in the case of the determined trust in the individuals. Uh, so, dear friends, finally, we come to the uh, referral matters. So, here it is the case study that is the trust is to be on, right. And it is very, very interesting case study. I am sure you will enjoy this case study because it is not by saying that trust me and trust me, trust will not be developed. Trust will be developed uh, and trust has to be earned. Uh, and uh, I am sure that is the, uh, the material which we have discussed with you. Uh, uh, right from the beginning and that uh, you will be able to develop the trust uh, 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 with your team members and your team members will also have the trust in you. And this is the another uh, uh, very, very relevant paper an integrative model of the trust and leadership and therefore, you will find uh, that is the how uh, this trust plays a very, very important role in the success of a particular team. Uh, this book is uh, the speed of the trust the one thing that change, changes everything. So, therefore, you will find that is the Stephanie Markovic's this book uh, uh, with uh, um, the Rebecca M. Aril is uh, uh, really uh, helping us to understand that is the how the, the trust uh, which either brings or uh, brings down and the relationship between the uh, team members is there, right. So, this is all about the references. Uh, for the above study material and also for your further studies and that will help you to understand that is how we can build a trust and make the team effective. Thank you.